Warning! This video contains frank discussion of matters of sexual morality. Just thought you might want to know. Hey! Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today. The Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first five commandments, and now it's time to tackle the sixth. Thou shalt not commit adultery. This time, pornography. What is it? Is it part of the prohibition of the sixth commandment? Once again, let's start by looking at the definition of pornography given in the Catechism. Pornography consists in removing real or simulated sexual acts from the intimacy of the partners in order to display them deliberately to third parties. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2354, first sentence. In other words, the traits of pornography are two in number. One, it must be a depiction of sexual acts that can be displayed. Two, it must be displayed or intended to be displayed to someone who isn't involved in that particular sexual act itself. Now, because these are the only identifying traits, it follows that quite a lot of things don't qualify as pornography. For example, a picture of someone in a very short skirt is not pornography. Scanty dress, and even full-on nudity, is also not pornography. Pornography is only the depiction of sexual activity to third parties, nothing else. However, just because a certain type of imagery or viewing of that imagery isn't pornography doesn't mean it's not against the Sixth Commandment, because it might still be lustful even if it's not pornographic. Ask yourself, does viewing slash making this image involve desiring a lesser aspect of sex more than a greater one? Does it involve sex or sex-based motives? Since the viewing and making of images is always an action, if the answer to both of these questions is yes, the act is still lustful and still against the Sixth Commandment. Now, is pornography a lustful action? Let's look at the three criteria that make a choice lustful again and see whether pornography applies. 1. Lustful decisions always involve desiring a lesser aspect of sex, such as pleasure, more than a greater aspect, such as unity with a spouse. Pornography clearly does involve this, since the appearance of sex is removed from all of its normal functions, including basic carnal pleasure. It approaches this first criteria from a different angle than most other kinds of lust, but it still applies. 2. Lustful decisions always involve sex, or sex-based motives, on at least some level. Yes, pornography is clearly sex-based. Why else would you have pornography if not for sexual reasons? Therefore, fulfills criteria two. Three, a lustful decision can be any action, word, or thought as long as it conforms to these criteria. The making and viewing of pornography are both actions. Therefore, it fulfills criteria three. So it follows that having fulfilled these three criteria, pornography is always lustful and always against the sixth commandment. Next time, what's prostitution, and does it fall under the sixth commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.